हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द चैनल फिजोलॉजी रीडिफाइंड इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोस आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द एक्शन पोटेंशियल इन न्यूरॉन्स और नर्व फाइबर्स एक्शन पोटेंशियल इन द स्केलेटल मसल्स वेयर व्हाट वी हैव सीन दैट इफ एनी स्टिमुलस इज गिवन इन रिस्पांस टू एनी एक्सटर्नल स्टिमुलस देयर इज अ there is a so if a stimulus is given there is a initial slight fall of the inside electronegativity then there is a very sharp fall of the inside electronegativity reaches to plus 35 millivolt and then there is a sharp fall of inside electronegativity initially then there is a gradual fall of the inside electronegativity followed by a fall of the electronegativity beyond the resting membrane potential and then finally comes back to the resting membrane potential which is minus 90 millivolt so this is the this type of action potential we have this i have discussed in last few videos along with different aspects of this type of action potential but in case of cardiac muscle in case of cardiac muscles this type of action potential is not seen there is some how different different form of the action potential is seen in the cardiac muscle so today in this video i will talk about the action potential in cardiac muscle action potential in cardiac muscle or heart muscle now let us see how this type how this type of action potential in the cardiac muscles so in the cardiac muscle what happen minus 90 millivolt this is the duration in millisecond and the electromotive force or potential difference in millivolt this is zero and this is suppose plus 35 millivolt now what's happen in case of this cardiac muscle if any stimulus is given a stimulus is given then what's happen there is a sharp rise sharp fall of the inside electronegativity overshoot zero and comes to about plus 35 millivolt plus 35 millivolt and this is the phase which resembles the depolarization of the action potential in case of neurons or in case of skeletal muscle but in this case this phase is known as the phase zero this phase is known as the phase zero so we are in the phases of the action potential as we talk about the phases of the action potential in cardiac muscle first one is known as the first one is known as the phase zero phase zero now once it reaches at around plus 35 millivolt after that there is a sharp initially there is a sharp fall of the inside electro positivity sharp fall of the inside electro positivity sharp fall of the inside electro positivity and this is the phase 
which is known as the phase one so this is the second phase that is known as the phase one now what's happened after initial rapid fall of this curve inside electronegativity this inside electropositivity is maintained for some time inside electronegativity that is inside electropositivity in this case is maintained for some time giving a play to giving a play to and this is the phase which is known as the phase 2 so this is the phase that is known as the phase 2 so third phase third phase is known as the, the third phase is known as the phase 2 and finally there is a again a rapid fall of electropositivity rapid fall of electropositivity which ultimately reaches to resting membrane potential that is minus 90 millivolt and this is the phase which is known as phase 3 phase 3 and finally resting membrane potential is getting maintained resting membrane potential is re-established which phase is known as the polarized phase or resting phase or phase 4 so there are phase one, phase 0, phase 1, phase 2 then is the phase phase 3 and finally finally phase 4 now let us see how this type of phases appear in case of cardiac muscle or what is the ionic basis of different phases of the cardiac muscle of the action potential in the cardiac muscle so first regarding the phase o or phase first phase phase o so phase o this phase this phase is because of the once the stimulus is given once the stimulus is given what's happened there is a opening of the voltage gated sodium channels like that of the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels in case of neurons or in case of skeletal muscles so same event also take place here that is at this at this part there is a opening of opening of voltage gated sodium channel sodium channels will open here so as the sodium channels are opened at this moment in response to stimulus what happened due to sodium concentration gradient as the sodium concentration is very high in the outside sodium ion will come in as the sodium ion, positive ion will come in, electronegativity of minus 90 millivolt will fall rapidly and thereby this phase that because of the continuous intake in flask of the sodium ion, the inside electronegativity falls to zero and ultimately it overshoots zero to reach at plus 35 on the positive side and this is the phase which is known as the depolarization so this phase 0 is known as the depolarization depolarization so phase 0 is otherwise known as depolarization and this is due to this phase is due to what due to opening of voltage gated sodium channels voltage gated sodium channels that is responsible for sodium in flask 
sodium in flask and as the sodium I am um, seen there is a fall of electronegativity inside and that ultimately overshoot zero overshoot zero and becomes electro positive becomes electro positive so this is the this is the ionic basis of the depolarization or phase zero so sodium channels open sodium comes in electro negativity inside falls reaches to zero and ultimately overshoots zero and that becomes electropositivity finally inside electropositive finally to plus around 35 millivolt and this phase is known as the depolarization phase so this is the phase zero or depolarization now second phase as i talked about is the second phase that i talked about is the phase one so this is the phase one that is the early rapid Repolarization. So this phase is known as early rapid repolarization. Early rapid repolarization. So what for this early rapid repolarization takes place? So this is because of the fact that at this particular moment at this particular peak of the depolarization two things happen first is the closure of closure of voltage gated sodium channels and secondly opening of opening of voltage gated potassium channels so as the sodium channels close, so what's happened? Sodium cannot come in now. Sodium entry will be stopped. So inside electropositivity cannot increase beyond this level. Beyond this level, it cannot increase further. Because sodium, no more sodium ions are coming in as sodium channels are closed. On the other hand, simultaneously what's happened at this particular moment, the opening of voltage gated potassium channels take place like that of the uh, neurons and the skeletal muscles. And as you know that potassium channel, potassium concentration is very high in the inside. And as now the potassium channels are opened, what's happened? Potassium, potassium ions will go out. There is a flux of the potassium ion from inside to outside. So as the potassium ions are going out, as the positive ions are going out, so obviously inside electro positivity will decrease. So inside positivity will decrease and that is the phase which is known as the phase one or early rapid repolarization. So this early rapid repolarization, this is due to, as I told, this is due to, this is due to, what's happened? Number one, closure of sodium channels, voltage gated sodium channels, and thereby no sodium entry no sodium entry and secondly there is opening of opening of voltage gated potassium channels and that results the exit of potassium ion out of the cardiac muscle so both these phenomena, these both these phenomena are ultimately responsible for what? Rapid, rapid fall of electrons.
electropositivity rapid fall of electropositivity so rapid fall of electropositivity takes place and this is the phase that is known as the phase 1 or early rapid repolarization so this is the phase that is known as phase 1 or early rapid repolarization now is about the third phase which is otherwise known as the phase 2 so So next point is the phase 2, sorry, phase 2, so this is the phase 2, that is the continuation of the or maintenance of the inside electropositivity for certain period. And this is the phase that is because the action potential duration of the cardiac muscle is more, is prolonged. The action potential of the duration of the action potential of the cardiac muscle is around 250 millisecond, which is very, very comparably very high in comparison to the neurons and the skeletal muscle. And because of this long duration of this phase 2 because of this presence of this additional phase that is phase 2 there is a long duration of the action potential and thereby long refractory period of the cardiac muscle and because of this fact the cardiac muscle cannot be titanized and cannot be fatigued it is indefatigable and as it is indefatigable cardiac muscle can continuously beat otherwise what happens if the cardiac muscle gets fatigued what happens it stops working it will not beat it will not contract and if it doesn't contract there is a death of the person because of the cardiac arrest so this prevention of the fatigue, fatigability of the cardiac muscle, absence of fatigability of the cardiac muscles is due to the presence of this additional phase that is known as phase 2 which is otherwise known as the play 2 phase. So this is the phase 2 or play 2 phase, this play 2 phase. Now what for this play 2 phase due to? So here is the involvement of another ions and that is the calcium channels. So what's happened? As I told that voltage gated sodium ion and potassium ion has got role in initiating the action potential. Besides these two ions, calcium ions also has got a role. Now this calcium ion starts opening at this particular part so at this particular part voltage gated calcium channels starts opening channels starts opening but it is not opened fully or gradual opening so calcium entry doesn't take place significantly. So at this particular moment, here at this particular moment, there is a, there is a full opening or complete opening of, opening of voltage gated calcium channels. So voltage gated calcium channels open at this moment, at this point, because the Opening and closure of the voltage gated calcium channels are very slow process. So this is why it is known as the slow channels. 
slow channels whereas the sodium channels sodium channels are known as the fast channels because their opening and closures are very fast so calcium channel starts opening at the very initial moment but it completely opens at the end of rapid early rapid reproduction and as now the calcium channels opened completely and as the calcium concentration is very high outside what what will happen calcium ion will come in calcium ions will come from outside to inside making the inside electropositivity isn't it that means here i told that early rapid reproduction was taking place because of the potassium exit and this is why electron positivity is is getting decreased but this decreased electro positivity is counter balanced counter acted by the entry of the another form of the positive bonds that is the calcium ion so here what's happened at this part what's happened there is a there is a entry of the calcium ions takes place that is counter balanced with exit of potassium ions so exit of potassium ions which results the rapid fall of the electro positivity inside will be counter balanced by the entry of another form of the positive bonds that is calcium ions and thereby the car or potential difference across the membrane becomes sustained becomes continued and this is the phase which is known as the phase 2 or the play to phase so play to phase this play to phase is due to this is due to what's happened this is due to counter balance counter balance of potassium exit by the calcium entry so calcium entry takes place through through the voltage gated calcium channels so through the cal calcium channels what's happened calcium ion comes in and that is getting that counter balances the effect of the exit of potassium ion or inside fall of the inside electro positivity is counteracted by the entry of the calcium ion and that is why the curve is getting prolonged and that prolonged phase is known as the prolonged maintenance of the inside electro positivity is known as the phase 2 or play to phase so this play to phase is due to counter balance of the potassium exit by the calcium ion entry through the voltage gated calcium channels this makes this makes the continuation of continuation of inside electro positivity inside electro positivity for some time for some time and this is the phase which is known as the play to phase this is the fact this is the event which is responsible for the play to phase so that is the phase 2 i think it is uh very clear regarding the ionic basis of the play to phase or phase 2 so phase 2 means counter balancing of the or maintenance of the inside electro positivity in spite of the potassium exit and that is possible by the entry of the calcium ion from outside to inside through the voltage gated calcium channels so now is about the phase 3 that is known as the so this this is known as the 
So next one is the phase three, which is known as the late rapid repolarization. Late rapid repolarization. Late rapid repolarization. So this is the phase which is known as the late rapid repolarization. Now this is because at this particular moment what's happened? Closure of closure of calcium channels calcium channels take place. So now what's happened? Whatever calcium channels were opened at this moment that will closed at that point and as the calcium channels are closed so no more calcium entry calcium ion cannot come in but potassium exit is going on potassium exit is going on and as the potassium exit is going on potassium ion or positive ions are going out what will happen there is a again rapid fall of the electropositivity and that will ultimately come towards the resting value or resting membrane potential. So this is the phase that is known as late rapid reproduction and this is due to this is due to two facts. First one is the as I told closure of closure of voltage gated calcium channels and thereby no more calcium entry calcium entry stops and secondly continuation of continuation of potassium exit because potassium channels remains open and the, both these factors both these factors ultimately is responsible for rapid reappearance of rapid reappearance of inside electronegativity rapid in reappearance of inside electronegativity to the resting value to the resting value that is resting membrane potential so this one is the phase 3 is the rapid late rapid reproduction in which cal calcium entry is stopped potassium exit is getting continued and thereby potassium thereby the positivity inside positivity is getting decreased and this ultimately rapidly becomes electronegative that is at the resting value which is known as resting membrane potential that is the phase 4 so finally so finally Finally, there is a phase 4 which is also known as the resting phase resting phase and this resting phase is because of the maintenance of the resting membrane potential of minus 90 volt 90, minus 90 millivolt is getting maintained or resting position or polarized state of the membrane comes back and that is the phase which is known as the phase 4 or resting phase. So this is all about the action potential in the cardiac muscle. So if I sum up these things, the cardiac action potential is having one extra 
phase that is known as the phase 2 or play 2 phase phase 2 or the play 2 phase this is the extra phase phase 2 or the play 2 phase so first one is the depolarization phase that is known as phase 0 second is the phase 1 that is early rapid repolarization then is the phase 2 or play 2 phase then is the phase 3 or late rapid repolarization and finally is the phase 4 or the resting phase so depolarization is due to the sodium entry early rapid repolarization is due to the potassium exit play 2 phase is due to the calcium entry which counterbalance the effect of potassium exit and finally phase 3 is because of the potassium exit out of the membrane as calcium channels are now closed and this ultimately is responsible for appearance of the resting value of the membrane which is known as the resting phase or phase 4 of the cardiac muscle action potential I hope this topics is very much clear to you if it is clear to you if you like this video please press the like button share to your friend circle and don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get the next videos on different other lectures to you at the earliest. Thank you.